Hello, and welcome to Beyond Curriculum, the professional development series for ASC tutors at College of the Siskiyous. This is a study skills video that will explain some note-taking strategies that you can share with your two T's. Taking good notes can help your two T's to be successful in their classes. Well-taken notes can be a really wonderful study guide. And also, the very act of taking notes helps you to learn the material. When talking to your two T's about note taking, the first thing you want to ask them is, where do you keep your notes? Ask the student if you can see their notes. You may find out those notes are in a notebook, which is terrific. Or you may find out that that particular student likes to take their notes on a laptop or a tablet, which works well. It's really whatever is most effective and will work the best for that particular student. A three ring binder is also a great way to keep notes organized, or you may find out that in fact those notes are crumpled up and lying at the bottom of a backpack. And this is also valuable information to have. No matter where a student keeps their notes, organization really is key. Having a notebook or a binder for each individual subject works really well. Of course, if a student is taking notes on a laptop or a tablet, organization is still important and you might want to suggest that they create folders so that they can locate their notes when they need them. When you have a conversation with your two T's about note taking, there are four questions you can ask them. And the first one, that we already touched on is, can you locate your notes? You can have the most beautifully taken notes ever in the history of note taking, and if you can't find them, they won't do you a bit of good. By the same token, they need to be legible. So can you read your notes is another good question. Also, can you understand the notes? It's important that the notes make sense. And does the style of the notes help to organize the information in such a way that it's useful and meaningful? So let's touch on all of these various subjects. First of all, notes need to be legible. You may find that a student has a physical or cognitive limitation that makes it hard to take notes. Perhaps they have an injury on their writing hand, or perhaps they have uh, an issue with focus, uh, with attention in class, so that it's very difficult to listen to a lecture and absorb it and take notes at the same time. In either case, you might want to refer them to disabled student programs and services. DSPS has dedicated volunteer note takers who can help in these situations. You definitely want your notes to be understandable. So a great way to check on this is to ask your 2T to read their notes out loud to you. And when they're on their own, they can read the notes out loud to themselves. Notes really should be taken in a student's own words. You don't want them to just copy the PowerPoint or just what the professor is saying in class. They need to translate that into their own language to make it meaningful. Now, does the 2T use style to help make their notes more effective and more organized? You can use indenting. You can use symbols, and that has the added um, benefit of helping the student to practice the symbols that are necessary in that particular course. So that's good, too. Abbreviations are great, helping students to keep up with a lecture. They can abbreviate words as long as they can go back and understand what they were trying to say. And highlighters are terrific for organizing information. You can use a whole rainbow of highlighters. And this is a great thing to do when you go back and review your notes. You can highlight them and organize them in that way. 
There's a way to build an effective study guide from your notes. Students can use the TSD method of organizing. T stands for title, so you want to give your notes a title that helps for you to find the information later on when you're looking for it. You want a summary, two or three sentences of what the instructor was saying in their lecture. And then within that summary, you want about three to five main details. So you want to get some details in there so when you go back, you really can get the gist of what was going on. And if you sort of follow this template, you can create a really great study guide. The other thing that's important is to engage with your note taking. Once a student has taken notes, it's very important that as soon after class as possible, they go back and look at those notes because if they wait too long, they may have forgotten something or may not understand what they were trying to say. So as soon as possible after taking the notes, revisit them. And then once a day, you want to look over your notes. And then once a week, do a really good review of the material that you've taken notes on. So encouraging and modeling effective note taking can really make a difference to students. Another thing you can do is show your two T's your own notes if you're a good note taker. And this can really show them what notes are supposed to look like. So once again, encourage and model good note taking. Thank you so much for everything you do at the ASC and thank you for watching.